All right, what's up, people? Welcome back to the beautiful view. Oh, bye, son. Bye. Oh, let's have a little snooze, shall we? Oh, look at that beautiful view. I've got it orientated exactly right. Didn't even know. Okay. I've done a fair bit, again, but less visible stuff. So I've been farming quite a bit, um, and the evidence for that... <laughs> Darkcraft armor with looting on it. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. I might have a couple more in the last few hours, but... <laughs> Uh, this is the simple zombie spawn that I already had. Uh, it's just simple dark room. Uh, it doesn't get much experience, but it's nice when I'm just watching something. I'm just pretty much clicking constantly, killing zombies. So that's pretty cool. I en managed to enchant repair two on each of my pieces, um, and I started on my chest piece with protection four, but nothing else yet on my on anything else. So you know, slowly, slowly getting there. I've also been doing a lot of farming in the Nether. Actually, I've been in the Nether probably three or four hours today. Getting some cobalt, getting some um, iodide, I think it's called. And the cool thing is with Dartcraft, you can just do it with your bare hands. <laughs> you don't need uh, you don't need the Tinker's Construct stuff at start. Okay, so the other thing I've been doing, as you can see, <laughs> is making a lot of Dartcraft worlds. Now, some of them are quite interesting. I just wanted to show you... Oh god, didn't I name them? I, I named a few, I'm sure. Uh, this one, for example, an ice world, which is quite nice because we can make crushed ice. From this um, so it's ice world with cobble spheres and crystal cool cool uh, most of these I haven't really explored I just sort of quickly went into them seeing what they were about and then leaving again there was another one I never thought this is a really weird one so you spawn here. Half the world is made out of nether rack, nether brick, nether rack. I think it's this. And there's then a lot of fortresses everywhere. Uh, you can't see one, but there's one just behind there where I went already. But there's no blazes in there or anything. Just normal zombies. <laughs> oh, that's a fortress. Oh no, it's not. Uh, yeah, there in the back. I don't know if you can see that on the recording. Anyways, a lot of other worlds completely useless, like just normal worlds that have nothing. There is one with oak tendrils, which I don't think I named. Hmm, I possibly didn't name it. I'll, I'll have to find it again. Yeah, I didn't name it. Okay, I'll have to find it because there's a world with, war, uh, with um, oak tendrils, which means there's these massive, massive tendrils of oak wood coming out, which is really nice um, to farm wood there if I ever need it. I mean, I still have a lot. Uh, we're almost, almost breaching 200k. <laughs> almost getting there. Yes. <laughs> uh, what else? I have been adding a lot of recipes for the Tinker's Construct into the Pattern Encoder. Yes. So most of the stuff we can already make. Now, the first thing we need, and I'll just go through this very quickly, is grout. And that's made using sand, clay, and gravel. Um, just in a crafting bench, so that's easy. The next thing is that if you smell that, you can get seared bricks. These things here. So I set up an interface for this. Now, at start, I just added it to this interface. You can see it here. And then I thought, well, that's not going to go fast enough to smelt that on demand. So I'll add another interface that does the exact same thing. The problem is that it doesn't do it at the same time. It only uses one of them, which is a real big shame, to be honest. So I'm going to have to set it up a bit differently where one interface outputs into whatever in a chest or a pipe or whatever and that goes to multiple smelters that's the way i'm going to have to do it which is it's fine as well but you know just letting you know that that setup down there is not perfect in any way 200k Whoa. what else seed bricks oh yeah and then there's a sorry seed brick and then from those you make seed bricks very much the same as um clay so i made a recipe for that as well I was crafting a lot of that, but I'm missing clay. Oh, well, oh, that's not good. Uh, clay and the bricks. Okay, I'll, I'll have to keep a lot more clay, a lot more, because I didn't know that we would be using it. Although seed bricks, you don't really use them much anymore afterwards, but we definitely need more now. So. That's a bit of a pain. I think this is. Uh, I think I have clay here somewhere, so I can just mine some quickly. Where was that clay? Shame I can't see underwater. Come on, let me go down. 
No. Oh, yeah, it is clay. Is it all clay? Well, oh, come on. Don't do this to me. That's sad, isn't it? No, it's clay. Okay. It's hard to see it, this texture back. I might have to change my texture back this again. I think I got most of it. I love this hovering over the water, by the way. It's dark craft. Very awesome. Okay, well, we've got enough clay. I'll put this clay into the system and then it can start smelting some more seed brick for us. I don't think we need too much more, but you never know. I don't know if the looting works on this, probably. So now you can see it's making seed bricks and it's actually smelting them one by one instead of using both smelters, which is a bit of a shame, but we'll deal with it. Okay, so I'll add all these patterns to this thing as well. Cool, let's start. First, we need a seed tank. It doesn't matter in what, what order you get it, but that's what I'll do. So for that, we just need normal seed bricks. Oh, okay. So let's craft 64 of those. Just going to take a while. So what we can do is get some grout. Craft. Oh, God. Craft. Which we don't have enough clay for, but that's okay. Craft a lot of that. And then get a recipe where we use medium stone and coal. Actually, that's that's gonna help the smelter as well. It's just that we're using medium stone then, but hey, who cares, right? So that should be a lot faster. I'm not sure if, why it's not using it. Use the recipe. Stop making grout. Stop making seed bricks. Let's see. Grout, 130, okay, that's fine. So it breaks, it is making it, but it's still smelting it only. Still smelting. Begin. Oh, there we go. Beautiful, okay. So what was that recipe? Seed tank, glass. That's easy. Glass, boom, boom, boom. Oh, we didn't have to do that, of course. Uh, then we need a seed a seed glass or a seed window. I don't think it really matters. We'll go for the for this because it uses less seed bricks. And code. Then we need the seed bricks which I already have. We don't need that, we don't need that, we don't need that, we don't need that. But we do need a faucet. Actually we might need two just to make sure. And that's it here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go add a mod dot tinkers. I've shown you this before how to, how to do this. It's, it's really handy to do this. <laughs> and we're going to need to make a smeltery controller. Boom. Then we need to make a smeltery drain and I'm going to make two of them. And then we need some wooden stuff. So a tool station. What's the difference? What's the matter? Oh, we don't have blank patterns. Oh, do I have the stuff for this? Oh, probably because my minds have been going. I mean, I love this auto crafting stuff. <laughs> Thank you. So that was the tool station, which I just made, didn't I? Yes. We also need the tool forge. We also need the part builder. Yes, there's a lot of stuff that we need. <laughs> The pattern chest. I think I've got chest in there already, to be honest. We'll see. Uh, we've got a stencil table that we need. And I think that's it. Oh, we need a casting basin. And we need a casting table. So much stuff. Although we don't need we don't need the casting basin, really, but you know, why not? <laughs> cool. So let's add all this stuff. I also added all my storage to this, by the way, which is quite nice, and buckets and stuff. Now let's see if I have a chest, yes, and a crafting bench. No, okay, we'll do the crafting bench as well. Oh, third page. I'm gonna have to expand this soon. Now these things, I don't really need to add to this because quite honestly, I'm not gonna use it more than once or twice. Like once you make uh, your smell tree, that's it. But hey, you know, why not? It's pretty much free anyways. I also added some 16k storage, by the way. 
which is uh, super easy now as I can just go here, 16k, boom, craft. Yes. Okay, so let's get started, shall we? Um, so we need a... Does that work? Yes, okay. So let's get two of those made up. Let's get a controller made up. Let's get a tool... We don't need a tool station because the tool forge replaces this kind of so and the part of the recipe of this is uh, sorry part of the recipe of a tool forge is a tool station. What do we need? Oh blank pattern. Yes. How many blocks of iron? Oh, okay. Fair enough. Boom, 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 and code. And then block of iron. Which we need for the legs. Boom, boom, boom. I love this <laughs> mod so much, like <laughs> Can't even believe it. Okay, so is that tool? There we go. Tool forge. Uh, we need a casting. Basin, just one is will do, and a casting table, just one will do. Boom, boom. Look at how easy that is. Um, a pattern chest, although it's not really needed, but but you know. Uh, also, we need to make some blank patterns. So let's make 64 of those. Let's make one pattern chest. What am I missing? A pad builder, of course. Of course. Ah, also, I defeated two or three? No, three king slimes in total, every single time, right next to my base. I don't know if that's... I don't know why, actually, that, that happens, but <laughs> they keep spawning next to my base. So I've got a lot of these hearts. I'm not sure what I can do with them, but I'll, I'll find out. I think the potions and all that sort of good stuff. Okay. Oh, the full set, of course. So how could I forget? We need two of those as well. Two. Boink. And we need some window. Or I think glass, didn't we, didn't we say? Yep. Uh, three is probably better. And as last, we need a tank. Foof. Now, this sounds like a lot of stuff, but it's really not. Again, there we go. Now, we also need some extra stuff. Like, we need the, oh, the, the blank patterns. Not black patterns, blank patterns, and we'll probably also need some cobble later on, but we'll uh, we'll leave that out for now. Okay, so let's start off. Where's my pattern chest? Did I did I make that? I did. Let's start off with the basics first, shall we? Three. Am I missing something? Stencil table. Yeah, stencil table. Okay. Did I even add it? Yes. Okay. Boom, it's just wood. Oh. Boom. Also got a spider spawner. Oh, it's a cave spider even. That's cool. That's cool. Now we need to um, decide where we want to put this. But I think we'll just put it in one place for now. We can easily move it. It's very, very, very simple. So I'm just going to put it right uh, here. Boom. We put the pod builder. Now I'm going to put the chest next to the um, stencil, oh hang on, not next to the stencil chest. Uh, it needs to go next to the pad builder. It doesn't need to, but why not? Yes. And then we need the tool forge. And then that's the basics. Now, to make blank, uh, to make stencils, we need to put these blank patterns in here. Boink. And then we can click next pattern and I'll show us what we want. Now I want to make an axe, uh, sorry, a hammer first because it's pretty awesome. So what we can do is actually, I forget, I'm forgetting something. In At the start, you get a book called Materials and You, which I forgot. I mean, I lost. <laughs> but that's okay. We can just get some paper and make a new one. Now I've already read this thing pretty decently. But I, I definitely would recommend reading it because there's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, also, I didn't get the upgrade, but I'm not sure. Maybe you just have to craft it yourself now. Oh, you just craft itself. Okay. Perfect. Easy. So in this, you get a lot of stuff like getting started, blah, blah, blah. It explains you how to make these things that I just made. Um, punji stick, which is traps and stuff. Which is blah, blah, blah. Barricades, blah, blah, blah. Uh, grout seed bricks, you know, all these things that you already know. Okay. Uh, that's it. So f for then, we need to upgrade this to the materials and you. Now, materials and you tells you everything about all your 
different things that you can make, for example, a hammer. Now, if we go to the hammer, it says a hammer is a heavy mining tool meant for digging out large areas, blah, 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 blah. And here's the crafting parts, and that's where the stencils come in. So you need to make a stencil for each part. For example, we need a stencil for a hammerhead, for a large play, and a tough rod. We need another large play, but a stencil you can use forever. So we just need one. So that's pretty much it. So I reckon we should start making our smeltery first. And I'm just going to do that here. Once again, we can change this later on. Oh, God, that's hard to break. We can definitely change this and we will change this, so it's all good. I'll put it in a nice room with some anvils and you know like making it look like a like a blacksmith. That'll be cool. So the basic, very, very, very basic layout is something like this. We don't need the corner pieces by the way, but then you need the controller and the tank. The controller will just put there, tank there, and then we have to close it off as well. So I'm going to close it off with some bricks. Boom. And now you can see it turns on. Beautiful. Worked. Now we can right click on it and we can start smelting stuff. But before that, oh, we need to add some lava to this tank. And I already went to my lava world, as you might remember, I have one. And I got some buckets. Boom. I don't know how many I need, but that should be just fine. Doink. Oh, come on. At least at least replace it on my hotbar, will ya? But this is fine. We don't need more than this. Oh, it doesn't even fill. <laughs> Made too many. Now, I would like some more seer bricks, but I don't think I have any, and I think it's difficult to make. What does it need? It needs seed bricks. Why is it not making that? It is, but it's doing it for the interface. Let's... Are they both going? No, just this one now. See, it's it's a bit of a shame, really. But I'll, I'll fix that later. So now it's just going to make it with coal. Which is a lot faster. If it works. Now, technically, I don't need more, but, but it's just easier. Begin. What am I missing? Clay. Okay. It's all right. This will be enough. Plenty. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a layer to this. It will allow us to smelt more at the same time. And it will also provide a nice simple place to put our drain. So this is our drain. Now we put it facing this way with the hole this way and the thing in the middle. At least that's what I believe. <laughs> that works. For sure. Oh, and then we also need to do it on this side. And on this side, what we'll do is we'll put a another drain. Really? That's all the dirt I have? Okay. Whatever. We'll put another drain. Bonk, and we put the four sets on that. And that's where the molten stuff comes out of. Cool. Now, one side, we put a casting table. And the other side, we put a ca uh, casting basin. Now, it doesn't have to be on the side. You can put it anywhere you want, really. Now, as you can see, this only has nine slots still, and that's because the front is open. So you don't want your uh, liquids uh, going all over the place. So we're going to close this off. And now it has 18 slots. Very nice. Cool. The first thing we need to do is make the stencils, and I showed you those already. So let's go through them really quickly. Which ones I need? I know when I tried this that we need to go a bit further. This is a tough tool rod pattern, which we need. We also need these large plates. And we also need the hammer head. This one. Cool. Once you have those, do I have cobble? Nope. Get some cobble. Wow, 203k already. That is impressive. <laughs> and I was planning to add some more quarries actually because it's not enough. At least I don't think it's enough. So now we go to the nope. To the part builder. And all you do is you add a pattern in there and you add the material that you want to use. For example, I'll use cobble. But what? Ah. Oh, it does work. Okay. Whatever. So it says material cost free. So I'll use free cobble to make one stone tough rule uh, tool. Now I'm just making out of stone 
and I'll show you what I'm why I'm doing it later. So let's make a large plate one as well. Boom. Now these are very basic. If you're used to Tinker's construct in the old times, you used to be able to just add iron to this and it would make an iron hammerhead pat pattern, but that doesn't work anymore because of course the, the stencil would burn. So now you first have to make the pattern. So for that you have two choices. The first is to use gold. The second is to use uh, what's it called aluminum something. <laughs> oh wait, it's in the other book, isn't it? Okay, doesn't matter. We'll, we'll use gold because I have it readily on hand and it's a lot faster. I'll use the aluminium afterwards, but now I'm not sure how much we need actually. So we'll see. Now all you do to smelt stuff is go doink, 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 and it'll start smelting. You see, there's a little red bar here. Also, the cool cool thing it is that you can actually see them. So those are ingots. See, they're very thin. You can also put blocks in there, and they'll fill up the whole block. You can just walk in there. There's, there's no... <laughs> you can't take them out either. So these patterns, we don't need anymore. Boom. What we're going to do is we're going to put... Oh, in my test world, I put it on that side, so that's why I keep walking away. This plate in there... And we're going to want to make a golden, see it's all smelted now, yep, six ingots, cool. And we're going to right click this thing, and boom, it's smelting gold into this. And then, boom, we now have a large plate cast, uh, made out of a cool gold. And that way we can make pretty much any material. So how much did that use? Two only, okay, cool. So we can make this one, doink. Boom. So now we have a tough tool rod cast. So the way this works, as you might imagine, is that it pours the gold around it and it sets. And then you take the stone out and then you just have your cast ready. Now you cast, you can put it in there again and then you can smelt some really cool stuff in there. For example, and I'll show you that in here. Iron, um, stone even, wood, pretty much a lot of stuff. Now this is where it gets a little bit complicated I guess but each material has a base durability and this durability I believe comes from the head or the main piece so for example for us the hammer head so if you make the hammer head out of wood the base durability is going to be 59 now then we also have the handle and the handle is in this thing it's the tough tool rod thing and that's going to be a have a handle modifier so for example if we use wood um, for the bait for the um, tool rod it's going to have a modifier of 1, so it's going to stay 59 durability. But if we used a stone handle, it would actually decrease the durability by half. But if we used a stone head, it would start with a durability of 131. Makes sense? I hope so. <laughs> Apart from that, each um, material has a mining speed and a mining level. So for example, stone can only mine iron, whilst iron can mine up to level 2, which is redstone and so on so on so for example obsidian pick can mine obsidian a bone pick can mine only iron and these are very cool they also have a, an attack damage and some of them have a material ability and this one is stonebound and stonebound makes you mine faster when the tool gets more damaged i believe uh, reinforced is just that it takes less damage so less durability or it has a chance to not lose durability i should say you have cactus, bone, obsidian, netherrack, blah, 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 etc. Pretty cool, isn't it? Pretty cool. So what we want to do is we want to really get to the highest durability at start with the highest mining speed. Now, the mining speed is also only based on the top part, I believe. I believe, I believe. I'm not 100% sure. So what we want to get done is slime is very good because it has durability of 1500, but it can only mine obsidian. Hmm. And it does no damage attacking, but that doesn't really matter. And the mining speed is only 1.5, which is very slow. I think 10 is the maximum. You can make it out of paper. I'll show you that later. Uh, and then these are the new ores added. So cobalt, iodite, and manulin. Manulin? I'll call it manulin, whatever. Now, this thing is the nether alloy. It's stronger than diamond, so it's one of the best ones. Now, to make this, I actually need my other book again. Hmm some paper ah come on always forgetting which one it is uh, paper and a blank stencil i think 
Or do we need the next book? Hmm. Let's have a quick read, shall we? Boom, 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 boom. Nope. Next book. So we need... What's it called? Mighty Smelting. Okay. So what we can do is we just turn this book into Materials in You and turn this book into Mighty Smelting. Okay. Cool. Now, this is uh, showing you how to make the thing. So this is an example, which is pretty much the same as I made it. So these are the special ones. Bronze, which you can also get from other um, mods, of course. Aluminium Brass, which is the same as gold. You can make only casts out of it. Manilin and Elamide. Elamide is quite simple to make. Uh, Manilin is a bit too difficult. It's Cobalt and Ardite. Two of each makes one Manilin. Cool. Now, I have been mining, and I think I have some. Ooh, only 15. 17. Hmm. It's not too bad, I should say. Now, I've, I believe one ore makes two ingots. Boom, look at how cool that is. Now, oh, ow, it actually does hurt. These things you actually can't normally smelt without that craft, unless, uh, sorry, mine, unless you go towards Elamite, I think it is. You need to have a, a smelting level of that high. Uh, but we can do it because we have that craft, so hey. Haha. <laughs> so this is smelting. You can see how long it takes here, quite a while actually. And then we add the cobalt ore into this as well. And we'll have a nice soup. Actually, I should probably take some out. Let's take out exactly half. Because we need it to be equal with cobalt. So let's add that in. Cool. How cool does that look? Okay. So we're making some cool stuff. Now, let's have a look at the tool that we want to make. So first of all, we want to make a hammer. Uh, where's the materials at? Here. So when we make a manilan hammer... It's going to have 1200 durability. The handle is 2.5. So I might want to make a handle out of this as well. But let's uh, let's keep an eye on this. On this value. Then we have a mining speed of 9. Which is very nice. We have a mining level of 5. Which is the highest. And then base attack. Which I don't care too much about. Let's look at the handle modifiers. Right. See if we can find a higher one. Nope. Uh, nope. That's modifiers. I'll show you that. 2.5. 2.5. 2 for slime. That seems to be the highest, so we'll make a hammerhead out of it and also a, a, a tough tool rod. I can't add this in there, can I? Nope. We'll waste another space in there. Why not? <laughs> uh, also, I had these bricks already. Whoops. <laughs> Keep coming back. Oh, Dan, look at that collar. It's like a portal. Very relaxing. So let's make the hammerhead first. Oh, it's purple. I love it. Come here. Give me that thing. Boom. Done. Now we have a manila hammerhead. Nice. Now, we also need to make a tough tool from that. Now, we should have plenty because you don't use that much. Uh, although, we're done now. <laughs> Okay, so let's put six of these in here. Oh, hang on, stop. And six cobalt. So we don't have enough, but that's okay. We can we can get started. And I might even make it with some alumite, for example. That's that's just fine. Why not? Uh, I can always make another pick later once I actually spend a lot of time mining. Get lost. Now we also need to make a sword, and most awesomely, we can make a a bow as well, which is uh, something I'm quite enjoying. Is that done? No, it's not enough. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so let's have a look then. Oh, 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 oh. Get lost. Although I already hit him, so he can't hit. He can't hurt me anymore. So let's make a alumite. Well, actually, we just need the large plates. So from the large plates, I think we just have to kind of look at the these levels that we want. So any extra ability. So iron is nice. I know obsidian is quite nice, so I might use obsidian. Although it handle modifier zero point eight. Now I'm not sure if the handle modifier only works towards um, the rod, or if it works towards all pieces that are not the main piece. I'm not too sure about this. Why is this not smelting? Why is that not smelting? 
Well, that's weird. Oh, because it has to smell at the same... I'm not sure. Anyways. Boom. That's a tool. Tough tool rod. Now, I'll also show you the tool station. So this is are all the items you can make. Now, if you if you didn't upgrade uh, the tool station to this one with the iron and you used use the normal, one, you can only make the tier one stuff, which is like normal swords and picks and stuff. But I can make a hammer, and you can see the the style changes here. So if I pick a scythe, for example, it's this. But we want a hammer, so we can put this in here. We can put this in here, and it'll tell us. Not yet. It'll tell us soon. Plate. I just have one, of course. Hmm. Makes me sad. It'll tell us once I fill this one in as well. That's annoying. Doesn't save it. Once I fill this one as well, it'll tell us exactly all the details of this, which is quite nice, to be honest. Now, we ideally want to make a plate, but I don't think I have enough. Why is it still smelting? Is it bugging out? Oh, we need two of each. Ah, uh -huh. okay. So this is not going to finish, I think. Oh, you get experience for that? No, that's not going to finish, so we need some more. So let's make a very simple stone one. And I'll show you what I mean. Actually, let's make a, uh, what else can we make? A wooden one. <laughs> Why not, right? And I can just sh sh sort of show you the differences. So a wooden large plate, and we chuck that in there as well. Ah, come on. Boom. So, it'll tell us it has durability of 10,000 attacks uh, damage of 1.5. Now let's also make, very quickly, a wooden tough tool rod. When we replace this, you'll see the durability drops from 10,000 to 4,000, because um, the manila one has 2.5 modifier on it. Yes. Now let's make another plate out of wood, right? Add that to this as well, and then we'll see it has now has 9877. So when we add this, it was 10. So it definitely does make a difference as well. Definitely does make a difference. Now I don't want to make my tools out of crap stuff, so we're not going to do this. I'm going to leave all my parts in a chest make a dedicated chest for this for now and I'm not gonna make anything right now put, no, let's put the other in here we'll put the stencils in there that's all I need really I'll add some lava to it work oh of course pattern chest dumbass I'm happy. I'm, I'm quite happy with this. So, so far we've made this thing. You now know how to make this. We've made all the casts. We've made pretty much everything you need to get started. I just need to get a little bit more cobbles. Oh, there is some stuff in there. Hang on. So it did do 1-1, one, one, apparently. Hmm. But it's still not enough. So I'm going to go to the nether. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, where we're going to finish our tools. And I'll, I'll make sure I'll get enough co uh, cobalt and I die to... Uh, to really get going. Also, this is my new XP farm, by the way. It's very basic, but it's uh, it works like a charm. So once these spawn, oh, like that, <laughs> they actually will follow me here, and then they go downwards, and I can just easily catch them like that. You know, it's no no risk for me or anything, and I can just uh, once they get here, I can just punch them in the face. And it's quite nice for blaze rods and XP and stuff. It's pretty good. Cool. So let me just uh, before I go, let me show you. Actually, I hate my nether spawn because. I can only go one way really before getting stuck. So I just want to show you some cobalt or iodite. I might have mined this out already. Oh, what the? <laughs> I also enabled the hats mod, by the way. <laughs> Hat unlocked. Midriff something. <laughs> I already got quite a few of them because I was mob farming. I also learned today that the imps do not hurt me when I uh, just walk past them. Or even when I punch them, they don't attack back. Oh, whoops. Aha, aha. I died. Boom. It usually comes in pieces of one, sometimes two. I haven't seen three yet, so I think it's always one or two. Now, cobalt is very blue, so it's very easy to see. There we go. So it's not too bad to find, really. The only 
thing is that you need to make a um, tool to make it first but really I think alumni can can do that or steel I think even as well I want that hat I want that hat but there's cobalt here I want that more <laughs> I think steel can mine it as well so it's really really simple so even if I didn't have Darkcraft, I would have made one tool and then just use that to get all the stuff I need because they'll last forever, uh, which is nice. Now there's a whole lot more to this, like modifiers and, and all that, um, which I will get into next time. So thanks for watching. I'm going to go farm and um, tomorrow we'll see uh, what we can make and how, how good it is. If you have any tips, by the way, if I missed anything important, let me know as well before I make it tomorrow. <laughs> I might as well um, because, you know, this is the first time I'm making this, so I've just done a test to, on my uh, other world, on my testing world, to make sure that this smeltery works. But apart from that, I've never made any tool with it, so uh, <laughs> we'll see. All good. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow.